welcome to python tutorial and this tutorial we will discuss about the class uh, we will uh, la in the last class we have discussed about the class creating a class and creating a variable and uh, how to create a object and access the variable and methods from the class in this tutorial we will discuss about how to create a constructor and also what is the importance of uh, using a self inside the methods of class go to file click on new window I'm taking one simple example of class so that we guys uh, can understand how to create a constructor what is the importance of self I'm creating a one uh, class with the name C name terminate with colon indentation. I'm creating one variable because uh, in uh, in this program I want to create uh, uh, few names uh, and also their ages, name of the person and age of that person, and also I want to count how many. Uh, how many uh, names I'm having in this program I want to count because of that I'm creating a variable count I'm initially the value I'm going to assign the value 0 I'm creating a constructor constructor uh, is a method which is automatically executed when the object is created no need to call it explicitly it is called internally underscore to underscore init the name uh, this is a standard name uh, you need this for the constructor you have to use the same name init and followed by another two underscore self name self uh, self is the default parameter for the module inside the class if you are defining your function inside the class it is called as module so default is the first parameter inside the module and I'm passing to name comma age uh, terminate with the colon terminate with uh, colon then self uh, dot name is equal to name as I said self is a temporary uh, placeholder for object for example if I have created a object o1 here self is replaced with o1 o1 dot name uh, for that object while creating if I passed some name and age that o1 uh, that object name self is replaced with the object name and name the whatever the parameter I have passed here uh, that is assigned here o1 dot name so the name is assigned here like this so I, I think that's uh, pretty much confusing here and bit complicated also so uh, I will make you guys understand uh, by the end of this program so I'm creating one more uh, self dot age equal to age and then I want to count the number of uh, people names I have uh, entered count uh, so you cannot use account directly uh, you need to start with the name uh, class name dot count uh, because uh, since count is an a variable inside the class we we cannot directly access it so I am incrementing it for the, if I call the function one time if I created one object so count has to be count is 0 if I create a one object it the count is incremented by 1 if I'm creating one more object count is incremented to uh, like this count will keep on incremented so I'm creating one more uh, function def uh, display I want to display these uh, contents uh, display and as I said self is uh, by its default inside the module of a class what I want to do here is uh, I will print this so I'm having see the values uh, I have stored in uh, init uh, constructor uh, initial constructor here I'm displaying the same uh, name uh, name I'm giving a space I want to display this 
comma uh, we we know the how uh, inside the print statement how we can print by separated by a comma if we want to print the two elements inside the print it, you can separate it by comma and you can print those and i want to print the same print print same age i want to print age uh, colon e no need of equal so i will just give a space comma self uh, dot age and I want to calculate the total also tf uh, you can give any function name total count so default parameter is self inside that so I want to calculate the how many number of uh, uh, people name I have included total names you can write whatever you want to write total names uh, percentage uh, G uh, if you if you guys know of C this uh, statement is very easy to understand C the name of the class C name dot count what happens here is uh, since uh, count is an integer percentage D is for integer C count while printing uh, while outputting the statement it is going to output as total names percentage D is replaced with C name count so output is total name 0 if the count value is 0 0 if the count value is 1 it is going to display as 1 uh, I'm going to create some object uh, uh, O1 uh, anything you can create any uh, any uh, object name I am uh, giving O1 uh, as I said, whenever uh, you create an object, uh, this is a constructor name. This constructor is executed. Uh, these are display and total. These are the these are not constructor. You need to call it explicitly. But since in IIT, this is uh, you need to give the same function name because constructor function name is same for uh, every other class. So whenever you create an object, constructor is called. What are the parameters you need to pass name? Uh, and age uh, as I said self uh, self is replaced with uh, O1 uh, if you create object O2 O2 is replaced with self so no need to give any parameter for self for name and age I want to give uh, the name as uh, Sam and uh, second name as uh, uh, not second name it should be age and I'm calling the function O1 dot uh, display and and I want to create one more o one dot uh, total total count I want to call this function also uh, okay let's execute this uh, program save it so I'm going to save it as uh, class uh, three dot by save this let's go ahead and uh, run the program run the module okay what is the output so I'm, I'm going to explain you guys in brief how we have got the output like this uh, compiler sees here this is the definition of the class and while executing it will come down okay oh and we have created the object C name Sam the SAM value is passed to age, uh, 24 is passed to age, uh, O1 self is replaced with O1, O1 dot name uh, is name, what is the name SAM, so O1 dot display, so we are calling the function display here, it will go here, as I said it's a temporary placeholder, the name, it is going to display the name because it is inside the double quote self dot name, what is the self dot name, SAM, so SAM is the self dot name and after this, this uh, after displaying it it will go to total count uh, it comes here so what is the count value since we have created only one count it will come here and uh, total names age same as of that and uh, here's age same as of name total name and uh, percentage d is replaced with c name count so count value is uh, 1 only because it is executed only one time 0 plus 1 is 1 
so if you want to increment it you create one more object then the count value is incremented to two then uh, you will get name another name another age total name is uh, two like this you can go on keep adding up to ten thanks for watching the tutorial i'll see you guys in the next tutorial